living room and I didn't really get set up for this today but I have um, hopefully it's not adjusting to me the entire time but I just got samples in my first samples with my custom prints on them from Pietra and I just realized that my TV is playing behind me so I really hope you guys can hear me I might have to start this over, but, um, and I really wanted to show you guys. I ordered them from Pietra, and which is the website that I've been using and software I've been using to order all of my production samples and get prototypes made, and um, yeah, I did some really cool work with this one factory and really excited to show you guys so i'm gonna go change into them actually i might just i'm gonna show you guys what they look like right now and then i'm gonna change into them and do a full-blown live try on haul um and unpacking video i've already kind of unpacked them but i will unpack them and show you guys and i'm really excited it's my first samples ever so i was so nervous i really tried to make sure to the best of my ability that this sample would look like what I wanted the end result product to look like and we're really really close I think and this try on haul will just kind of really show how close we really are so I'm going to go grab them and I will be right back and then hopefully one day I can show you guys a little apartment tour but for now you can just see my little living room section okay I'll be right back Here they are! So, they came like this. They came in a normal bag, and it was just Pietra bag, and it was delivered. I think they're the warehouse. I have to double check where their warehouse is, but it's in the United States. So they get shipped from the factory, wherever the factory is, um, all over the world. And then they get delivered to Pietra, and then Pietra then delivers it within country. So it got dropped off at the warehouse and then they check it in the warehouse and then I guess just double check that it's fine and then they ship it out to us. So I made two of my print designs. These are gonna go on to their one piece bikinis and then there's a sarong skirt that goes with it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Ah! Super excited. And I'll show you the bikini first. I did two of my prints. So these prints are, and I'm going to be making a video on, which might be part of this video, but um, it will be on what my main concept is for this brand as well as this um, set and um, overall concept. That's gonna be like my first launch. And I'm going into invasive plants and um, telling the story of their uh, sustainable acts towards making those plants um, be able to use in dyes and um, kind of just better the fashion industry. So hopefully doing a lot of work into natural dyes soon. But these prints actually show, I looked into those invasive plants and painted them and made them into repeats to kind of tell that narrative of the story. Um, and these are the first samples and I really thought that that would look beautifully on um, dresses and bathing suits. So this is the first one and it looks like this. I hope you can tell, I feel like it's always hard to tell what, um, bathing suits that are like mostly white look like so I might do a whole other video of just showing you guys but this is the back and it has these really beautiful ties that you can tie like low in the back to be like little 
bows or you can tie it in the front and I'm really excited I will try this on for you guys I think what size did I get in this one I think I got two different sizes so that I could know how closely yeah this one's a small so for some reason I thought I ordered a medium I probably did just order a small but so I tend to be like a small medium um, we're gonna see what the size feels like and yeah I just tend to have a longer torso so we'll see how that looks and then this is the sarong that it will go with let's see hopefully I can back up far enough so it's a little bit long so you can make, make it long or you can kind of pull it up or you could even probably double it if you wanted to and make it like a short skirt um, like this Doo -doo. Um, and it has these little ties also so I actually haven't even done this but you can kind of wrap them around like this and then layering just like that and you kind of get a good idea because I wore white so that I wouldn't, didn't distract from this video um, so that's the first one super exciting and then my other print and that print is actually called Devil's Walking Stick that is the name of the plant that I painted and recreated into and I Hope to make you guys a video on how I paint these as well and what I use and also how I put them into Photoshop. I think that would be really, really cool and how to make those into prints. Um, and those are all things that I'm excited to show you guys soon. So this is mostly just sample, try on, haul, a little bit of excitement of finally getting my first sample that has my first print on it. Um, so then this. Okay. Oh wow, I got an extra one. Okay. Then this one came in and it looks like this. So this one actually has the green outline um, fabric. So the lining is green, which actually I wasn't sure. I was a little nervous. I was debating just doing a white outline. Um, so it has like the green here. Um, and I'll do a, a, another video, but green here and then also the lining and I kind of love that. Um, and then this is the back and they did just like the ties, the low ties. Um, so I'm excited to try that on. This one's also a small and going back to this one, I chose to do a white border, but I almost think that this white lining and like this very subtle like yellow if they could make that the border that might look really pretty but we will see and I will also be asking um, if those are all things that they could do um, the company that I was working with at Pietro which I was super happy that they said this they um, instantly messaged me as soon as it got delivered and they're like let us know how you like it if there's any changes anything like that so have been super amazing and really grateful for that and then this is the sarong so it came out super cute they did the same kind of border lining um, which matched really nicely to these darker flowers that I have in here and kind of looks like this which is super fun and then I could also end it up okay so hear me out this is my first time ever customizing one of these garments figuring out the scale of the print everything like that um so you know definitely things i want to go back to the factory and customize things like that i also realized that one pieces are kind of hard i'm not gonna lie but i want to show you guys and take you guys along the entire process of um making a brand you have an idea about something and then it comes out a little different and i'm just excited to show this so this sarong is super cute i do think that if i'm to have both of these going together it's a little bit too busy with the larger print of it um which means i could scale down this print 
make it smaller, make it more of like a ditzy uh, print, which means that usually you can like layer things a lot better, or keep it with a solid um, and do something like that, something like that. So this tie, I actually tied it on this side where I can also, I think I double knotted it. Um, so this is this, so I actually went like this. I took this and I went like this and around and tied it over here. Um, but, so I might do something with scale, figuring that out. I might talk to some people that are fashion designers that are my friends and see what they're thinking. But also, so, just seeing this print closer up, this is what it looks like. And then, so this is the other um, one piece bathing suit and sarong that I got. Um, definitely more cohesive um, compared to the other one, um, just in color and scale. I do like the scale. I might bring down those flowers to fit this scale because I feel like this combo of the prints actually does work really well. So hopefully you can see this whole thing. I'm also going to hopefully do a video outside so you guys get the real lighting, not inside because most likely when you're wearing a bathing suit, you're going to be outside. So I will show you guys what that looks like. And so this is this, this is the way it fits. This is kind of, it is a little bit see-through. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it's really, really cute. And did the same tie on this side as the other one. And then this is the bathing suit just being a bathing suit. I do also still, I actually really like the white coming through. I don't, I'm going to ask if I can get the print moved all the way up to the seam um, as well as for the other one. And then definitely bringing this seam in probably like an inch um just more of like a curve so that it will fit over my hip and then also a little bit less coverage in the back maybe like here as well as on the side and then this upper back let's see if you can tell um once again tried to tie them at the same time but did them really quickly so i think when they're low tie or middle tie all the same length it's going to look really great let me see if I can reach down and show you guys. Um, and then a little bit of a like close up. Definitely super cute once again. Realizing that I don't really wear one pieces, so wasn't really even sure how this was going to fit, but just thought it was super cute. Had to try out the sample and happened to be the first sample that I got in um, really quickly. So really happy with them.